to a complete performance index. It's more about what should be our desired cost performance index in order to meet our goal of achieving the project in a given budget. The formula for two complete performance index is simple. Work remaining divided by fund remaining. How much amount of work left and how much money left. Two complete performance index equals to one shows that we are going everything as per the budget plan. The cost performance index one can achieve it. Now before getting into the details of, of this formula, I want to give you some numerical example and then we can calculate the two complete performance index. In this particular example, I have taken a case where the project duration is for four weeks and we are expected to do the work of $250 per week. So our planned value is $250 per week, which makes the whole work $1,000. So our cumulative plan value on a week on week is like the first week 250, second week 500, it's a cumulative only, third week 750 and the fourth week is 1000. So we are planning to spend 1000 and we are planning to earn 1000 by the end of four weeks. So that's the, the, the first two figures tells us this is our planning. Now the reality is always different. We started the work. In the first week, we spent $300 and we earned $200 out of it. So I'm using cumulative uh, actual cost and cumulative earned value as well. But this, this, is, this is the first one. There's nothing uh, different. So we spent $300 and we earned $200. So if I calculate cost performance index, which is like $200 divided by $300, it comes to 0.66. So our first week cost performance index was 0.66. Then we carry on the work and in the next week we spent $400 and we earned $100. So cumulatively by the end of two weeks we spent $700, 300 plus 400 and cumulatively we earned the 200 plus 100, $300 work. So if I cumulatively calculate cost performance index at the end of a week 2, it comes to 0.42. Now let's look at in a different view. We expect our, as a, as a baseline, the expected cost performance index is always 1. And here you have a positive direction, here you have a negative direction. So less than 1. So if it is less than 1, you go down, if it's more than 1, you go up. So here assuming it's, it's near 0, here it's like a 0.5. So at the end of a week 1, I can say I was at 0.66. So I was somewhere here because this is 0.5 and this is 0. So as you remain up, you are near to the 1. So at the end of a one, week 1, I was 0.66. At the end of a week 2, I was somewhere here at a 0.42. So cumulative, this is my like 0 0.66, 0 0.42. And here I stand. Here I, here am I. And we have not spoken about two complete performance index till now. Here we are. Now this is our current rate of working. Now you need to figure it out how you, how what performance you should achieve as far as cost performance index is concerned so that you meet your project objective. Now there could be a two situation. We tell that two complete performance index is equal to work remaining divided by fund remaining. Now what is work? By now we have earned work of $300 means our work remaining is $700. So the work remaining is simple budget at completion minus earned value. So budget at completion was 1000 and we have done work of 300. So this is 700. This is clear. Now what is fund remaining? Now fund remaining one is that we had a budget at completion $1000. So if we say there is no revision there is no estimate at completion. You just need to make sure that you get the work done in $1,000 only. If we get that information from management, then our fund remaining is 
थाउजेंड माइनस सेवन हंड्रेड सो वन वे ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग फंड रिमेनिंग इज बजट एट कंप्लीशन माइनस एक्चुअल कॉस्ट दिस इज अन वे ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग and if i go with this calculation for first time for me it is like 1000 minus 700 and i am reaching to a situation where i have a 700 divided by 300 to take care of so i need to achieve a cost performance index which is like 2.1 so if i want to get this work done I need to take my performance somewhere here, and then only I can finish the work as per BAC minus EV. If this is AC, sorry, BAC minus AC. So if I follow the fund remaining like this, this is the two complete performance index I need to acquire. I need to make two dollar from each dollar spent because I only left with three hundred dollar, and I need to finish the work of seven hundred dollar. And this graph sometimes looks confusing when you see it in a pin box. That okay, why this line is going up? It is primarily showing that if you are a bottom here, and your management wish that you need to finish it in the remaining budget only, you need to pick up and find a way to to make maximum returns from your each dollar spent. and it is more than one and that's why you go up here now the second possibility could be looking at the situation manager says okay you have a work left of 700 let me i let i give you a 1000 dollar so then you have a new new fund remaining you have a new estimate at completion it says that current estimate at completion which the budget at completion was 1000 looks like that is difficult so why don't i give you a little bit more money so our remaining work was of 700 and our remaining fund was just 300 what if our management gives us 700 more so it says that i give you a more money estimate at completion i give you a 1700 can you take care of of the work now or something like this so when we get more money then i say 1700 minus 700 i have spent i says i have a 1000 dollar left then my new tcpi by using this particular formula will become my work remaining is 700 only but company has given me a more money to finish it i says my fund remaining is 1000 now because my initial budget which was of 1000 got pumped up by 700 because company understand this is not going to happen and in this case i am thinking of achieving 0.7 schedule cost performance index in that case you are somewhere here and it's saying okay if you use estimate at completion minus actual cost your two complete performance index is going to be less than 1 so even if you remain with 0.7 you still achieve your project goal in a remaining fund the idea of two complete performance index is finding out what rate you should drive your project at what cost performance index you should take care of the remaining work if your calculation is showing that two complete performance index is more than 1 it shows that you need to manage your cost very very aggressively you need to make more money out of each dollar spent because the tcpi more than 1 means future cpis has to be more than 1 if you are two complete performance index goes less than one it means new adjustment has been made organization has approved new budget and your project performance is going to be lesser than the budgeted performance as far as cost is concerned and that is the only idea of two complete performance index spend some time with this particular diagram on your pim box and do keep in mind when you take the questions now here the trick comes in many test taker come and ask me you know two complete performance index has two options one is by using budget at completion another is by using estimate at completion because work remaining is always same it is always come based on budget at completion fund remaining is two alternative with original budget with a revised budget now which one i should use when the question gives both the option available to me the answer is simple when the question is showing you that it is there is a revised budget it means you need to use that 
if the question shows there is no new estimate at completion, you fall back on original budget at completion only. But when question gives you a clear idea that there is a revised budget, you use the revised budget to calculate your fund remaining and that is how you calculate your to complete performance index.